this is Sharon coming to you today. I'm feeling a little froggy as the saying goes. Uh, time, and I just want to get back into daily devotions. To, anyway, um, what I will do today is read some of the thing, but I'm going to read this, uh, start out with a little bit of prayer, and then we'll go into just reading scriptures to Romans 15, 4. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through endurance the encouragement of the scriptures we have hope amen hallelujah ain't that awesome lord the wisdom of the lesson you found in your word speaks to my life today i thank you for the fresh hope that breathes through through words scribed so many years ago. I am so amazed at the scriptures and how they move me. Some people try to cast it away as irrelevant, but they have immersed themselves into your truth. You care so much for me and for all your children that you created an unending source of encouragement and instruction. Help us to stand ground in teaching the Bible Lord, show the opportunities I have to give the lessons of the scriptures. I want to be an active student of your love and your ways. Amen. Deuteronomy 30, 16. I command you to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, decrees, and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you. 1 King 2, 3, observe what the Lord your God requires. See, I want to read all the ver verses that pertains to the same thing. That's what I like, love about this little book. It puts them all in a lump together. 1 King 2, 3, as observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in his way so that you may prosper in all that you do and whatever you and wherever you go. 1 Kings 3.14, if you walk in my ways and obey my statutes and commands, I will give you a long life. Boy, ain't just some good blessings there. If you, 1 Kings 11.3, 11.38, if you do whatsoever I command you and walk in my ways and do what is right in my eyes by keeping my statutes and commandments, I shall be with you. Thank the Lord. Psalms 84 says, the Lord is is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk in his way blameless. So anyway, that's a good one. I'm going to cut it short today because I don't want to get worn out. But I thank the Lord that I get to come back to him. I got God has gave me my strength back. And I got most of my strength when I started going back to church. So anyway, hope you all enjoy it and may god bless you and you have a good day a good fourth of july and a good weekend and remember god loves you so do we and always go to church god bless